Tonight, tenants on the edge of losing their homes may be feeling a sense of whiplash after the CDC had said it could not extend the eviction moratorium and then extended it anyway. So most tenants are protected for now. Well, this extension goes through October, but as WBZ's Sinia Maldonado explains, they're still concerned that this may not be enough time. A new extension for a federal moratorium on evictions will now allow states more time to distribute more than $47 billion in rental assistance for the next 60 days, hoping to help tenants who have fallen behind on their rent during the pandemic. But Massachusetts lawmakers say the extension puts a Band-Aid on a long-term problem. But the main message that I would give to people is that this is temporary. It's only till October or until cases go down in their uh, county. Which is why housing advocates are currently calling for the immediate passage of the COVID-19 housing equity bill. That it creates actual diversion from eviction, so it requires tenants and landlords to work together to access the rental assistance that we now have. Although advocates say the new federal extension will still buy people more time to get assistance from the state. For those that are at home watching and need assistance, what should they do? If you need rental assistance, if you need mortgage help, Call your local administering agency that, that it often is a housing agency that does the Section 8 program or maybe does home base. Um, and if you don't know where that is, again, call 211. Springfield native Rose Webster Smith says she fought a five year long eviction battle with her landlord. People don't understand the mental health toll that facing an eviction puts people through. And now dedicates her time informing others about housing assistance. They should absolutely call their local community organizations. Nine out of ten times, if they don't do housing, they know who does do housing. The federal order will go until October 3rd. Housing advocates say they hope lawmakers here in Massachusetts will pass the COVID-19 housing equity bill before that. In Boston, Nia Maldonado, WBZ News.